guys, welcome back to my channel, Winter Phoenix here. Without further ado, we're going to jump right into another episode of Stardew Valley. It is the last day of spring. The weather is going to be sunny tomorrow. The spirits are in good humor, so that's good. And we're going to learn a new recipe, an omelet. Awesome. Alright, so this is the last day of spring. Last time we got some chickens. Um, I don't remember their names. Dear Phoenix, thanks for stopping by my sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share with you. I'm enclosing instructions on how to prepare tea saplings. Awesome. So yes, I got the recipe last time, and it looks like Emily has also given us a salad recipe. We have gained her friendship that much. That's really good. So, good. We're moving right along. The tea sapling recipe calls for two wild seeds, five fiber, and five wood every time you create one. And I wanted to show you guys this. I've just been kind of waiting um, on how much money you can get from tea saplings. This is where our big money is going to be. I'm just going to plant one tea sapling so you guys can see next month what it's going to be like. The rest I'm going to sell. We're going to need money for tomorrow's seeds for summer. Um, and at the end of the day, I will show you how much we get. It is just outstanding how much money you get from tea sapling. I think it's like 500 a piece. So if we put 2,400 in there, we're going to get quite a bit of money. All right, here's one of our chickens. We're just going to check them. I'm also going to kind of see what kind of bundles we have for the next month, what we're still kind of needing. Um, looks like the usual crops for the summer, your pepper, blueberry, that kind of stuff. I'm just kind of looking through this for my own reference, so. Um, don't, like, be all worried, like, oh, I can't see what we're doing. Um, we'll be getting eggs soon, so that's why I was showing eggs. As soon as we have ten eggs, that'll complete that bundle. Um, looks like we got one egg here, our first egg. Beautiful. And I hope everybody's having an awesome, amazing, and wonderful day. I am. I'm full of energy. I feel pretty good today. And I'm just going to start egg in there um, until we're ready for it. Until we're ready to go do the greenhouse stuff. So, I have no idea what we're going to be doing today. I'm just going to kind of play and, and go as we play. I know um, tomorrow on summer 1st, we're going to go buy summer seeds. Um, I know we're going to need flowers and that kind of stuff. For some of the bundles. But yes, we're going to... Uh, check the bundles. Let's see what she has today. I am not really seeing anything that we need. Um, we do want rare seeds, but that'll be fall. Um, and that's if we have enough gold. I think we should if we continue to get wild seeds and we keep continue to do wild tree saplings. Or not wild tree. The tea saplings. Not wild tree saplings. And sell them. That'll make enough gold. Um to continue our adventure. We got to start working on the barn. I'm hoping to have the barn by the end of the month so we can get some cows and we'll see how far we can get on upgrading it. Since it is the last day of spring, I am going to collect the last of the spring onions. Now, I have no idea who we're going to marry either. I, um, I love all the characters in the game. It's really hard to decide. I also wish Carolyn was marriageable, but she is unfortunately not. She is married to Pierre. She's one of my favorite characters. The kind of, like, hippie type lady. Very calm, relaxing. All that. I'm not even going to bother watering our crops. They are not going to grow tomorrow. Tomorrow they will be dead weeds. Dead weeds in the yard. I want any dead weeds. I want some nasty dead weeds. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go foraging maybe? Mining? I don't know. I like to mine. So, I want to get down to the bottom so we can get our our first yeah our first star drop should be didn't get a star drop anywhere else so yet I got the hiccups so if you hear me hiccuping I'll try to edit them out but I did just have a bowl of oatmeal so I think I ate a little bit too much with that horseradish there and down we go we are making good progress on the mines too um, looks like we're getting up there in the levels. We're at level 70. 
I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you guys aren't having to sit here and watch me slowly pickaxe through this place looking for the ladders. Um, yeah, I enjoy this game very much. Um, I'm just kind of really sad I haven't been able to really focus in on any of my videos. Like, I feel like I'm just trying to quickly play through them because I just, I'm playing so many games at one time. Kill these bats. And hopefully you guys learned a little bit while I was um, mining, kind of teaching you a little bit about the enemies and that kind of stuff. Um, had a lot of fun with that, at adding those those in there. And uh, I'll continue to do so on our way down. And uh, hopefully we can get to 100. Level 120 is the lowest you can get these mines. Um, so yeah, real soon. Um, looks like our uh, fortune is in good humor today. We're kind of progressing fairly quickly. So, I don't know, maybe we'll get to level 80. Um, yep, looks like it. Got some fire boots, fire walker boots. They don't do anything special, they just kind of enhance your... Sorry, my pen dropped. They enhance uh, your immunity a little bit to damage and that kind of stuff. These are called brutes. Um, and we also have a fire jelly. Um, brutes do pack quite a bit of a punch, so try to kind of keep your distance, put a rock between you and them, and do not stop attacking. Try to corner them, take advantage of that. These uh, little gold rocks also, those are gold ores, so now we're hitting the gold ore area, so I'm going to collect a little bit of that, but I'm not quite ready for any of that just yet. We're going to eat some onions here because we're kind of getting low on energy and health. I'm um, maybe we'll make it to level 85 instead of 80 since we've already passed 80. Super wonderful. Amazing? I don't know. My favorite words. Awesome, amazing, wonderful. Just like you guys. If you guys like my videos and you want to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe. Helps my channel out. Also, um, keeps you guys from missing any future episodes if you want to see more of this. And, uh... Here in the future, I'll do more of a slower Let's Play where I really get into it and really get into detail um, on a lot of my videos. I'll probably use some of the past recordings, so I'm not having to re-record, um, but yeah, just editing them. This little helmet guy, I'm not sure what his name is. I will look that up and I will post it in wording above. Um, but yes, they can damage you pretty good too, and you just keep slashing at them with your sword. It does do damage, even though it may seem like it doesn't. I am low on energy again. Oh, eat this cave carrot. Thank goodness for cave carrots. Um, but yeah, and we'll go into some episodes on, like, what is the best health stuff? What is the best cave recipes? And we'll get more in into that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it looks like... I made it down to, to 85, so I'm just going to gather what I want to take home and we'll go put these into the chests. And eventually I'll clean out that chest in the mine, but for today it's fine. Um, but yeah, just so much to do and so much to, to play with in this game. I love it. Uh, looks like our chest is getting full. Lots of our- we're going to have to start making chests here pretty soon. Beautiful. We also got some red geodes. Totally spacing what kind of geodes are. Fire geodes. Those will be good later for uh, the museum. We'll be doing that too. We leveled up on mining. Alright, let's see what we got for money. Uh, 1200 golds. And day one of summer. What are we going to do? Buy some crops, of course. Good spirit today as well, so awesome. So, there are new forageable crops. Not for- yeah, forageable items, I should say. Um, that we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for a sweet pea. A melon. And there's one more. Grapes. Wild grapes. So we're going to be looking for those three wild items. To complete our summer bundle and therefore unlocking summer wild seeds for our tea saplings and I'm just gonna get the ground ready um, for our seeds 
I'm gonna use the speed grow for the melons because they take so long to grow and they are also a huge profit in the summer. So if you are not making money off tea saplings, if you've not befriended Carolyn, definitely, definitely buy a bunch of melon seeds with quick grow. So yeah, I'm just trying to prep the ground. Pierce doesn't open till eight anyway. So if you can prep before you go, do so. We'll go check on our check in here in a minute, but yeah. And if you haven't befriended Carol Carolyn, I would suggest it. I mean, you guys see how much I made yesterday. Like, we we're like, oh no, it's the end of the season. I have no money for seeds. No, I had a plan. I had plans. I wasn't sure if they were gonna work because sometimes you just can't get Carolyn up there quick enough. Looks like we got some oak resin as well. Oak, yeah, I said oat. oak. Oak. So I'm gonna check our other uh, tappers, but I didn't see anything, so let's go get our egg and store it away. There's two eggs. And not quite sure what I'm thinking. Um, just trying to plan. So put the egg away, put the oak, oak resin away, maybe, I don't know. I don't need to, I'll carry it around for now. I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do with that oak resin, maybe the community center. There's a grape, so this is a wild grape. So one forageable down for the summer. Yeah, every season you'll notice that like the music changes, the coloring changes, the items that you can forage change, all of that stuff. So um, we also gotta check out the birthdays. Here's Marnie. Hi, Marnie. She loves animals, treat them kindly, and we will become good friends. Awesome. I'll talk to Gus. I'm getting ready for the day. Okay, we've got some melon seeds here. Blueberries are a good source of income. I don't know, they grow quick. I wouldn't say they're a great source of income, but um, yeah. We're gonna need wheat for uh, the community bundle. Definitely gonna need a poppy seed for the bundle, but I don't know. Let me look at what else we have. Um, our backpack's full, so we're gonna have to run back and grab more seeds. I'm just trying to be manageable here with the seeds too. Like, what are we needing? We'll quickly just go plant these so we have space and then we'll come back. It is getting cold outside here where I live. So I hope everybody stays warm. Ugh, I can't stand the cold. The dog scared me. It barked and I jumped. Our blueberry seeds. Tomato seeds. I try to grow one of everything because like I said, the um, completion of the game also depends on you selling one of each item. And um, yeah, so I mean, it's about managing money, managing crops. Um, yeah, this game's just so time consuming. It's, it's awesome though, so. Here's our 15 of wheat. Plant them up. Let's get our radishes planted. Radishes make a pretty good um, salad. They have radish salad. Um, it's a decent meal to make. All right, got two more chili peppers. Um, you definitely wanna grow chili peppers in the summer. George will request a chili pepper for his knee. I'm not quite sure how that helps his knee that's in pain, but um, yeah, you'll boost his, by completing quests, it'll boost friendships with people in town, so try to do as they ask you to do. But yes, we want to befriend everybody, even cranky old George. Hi, Leah. 
Um, all right, so I'm gonna get a couple of Spangles. I do believe Spangles is on the list. I'm not too fond of hops, but Pam does request a hops recipe. Um, we're gonna need sunflowers and definitely corn. Corn is, I believe, in two bundles. Um, we're gonna try to get a couple gold corns and I'm gonna finish getting some speed grow for the rest of our melons. I know I'm being kind of odd here in, in uh, <laughs> putting speed grow in two different slots, but I'm trying to plan. Um, and see, we still have a good amount of money, 6,000 gold, so we're doing great. I'm really going to focus in on trying to get enough lumber and wood for those barns. Or for the barn, not barns. One barn. I hope to have that by the end of summer. We're just going to finish planting our crops and watering them, and then maybe we'll do a little bit of a runaround looking for the rest of our forageables. We still need a sweet pea and a melon. So. And sweet peas are my favorite. Um, I think it's because of the sweet pea fairies that'll come visit you and speed grow your crops, but I do enjoy when they come to visit the farm. just got like tired all of a sudden. I was like all full of energy doing this episode and I was like oh I'm feeling great and then I'm just like playing and I'm like I'm getting so tired. Get the speed grow down. And I'm going to put like a speed grow on one of each crop I think to try to boost them a little quicker so we can try to uh, finish those community bundles as quickly as possible. And I'm trying to remember what I planted where, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, we gotta figure out where the corn is at, which is over here. I have to try to get quite a few gold, gold quality uh, corn. So, and I just threw the last quality fertilizer on another crop, it wouldn't be bad to have another crop have a better quality because um, they sell for more. So, all good stuff. And what are our, those aren't blueberries. I don't know what those are. I don't know what any of these are. Once they're in their seed form, like I get totally lost. I think the only ones I really recognize is the um, blueberries and I recognize the corn. Pops definitely melons. Oh, this is our wheat. I remember this was our wheat. Um, but yeah, they're kind of hard to tell in their seed form what they are. Later on you can put signs up and put a picture of whatever crop is growing there. Um, we may do that in future episodes. I don't know. I've never really had to do that. I just kind of wait for my crops to grow and I just kind of play and go. But wouldn't hurt in the future trying to organize what we have. I'm gonna keep the grape um, till we find the other stuff. But yeah, I think we're gonna go try to chop some wood so we can work on the barn or more tea saplings even. Definitely need a scarecrow because our crops have spread out more. So scarecrows only cover like eight blocks out and I just wanna protect all of our crops. That's why I made another scarecrow, but yeah. Um, I think we're just gonna go forage and see what we can find for the rest of the day. I was thinking about cutting wood for the barn and stuff like that, but we don't need it immediately. So I'm just gonna go forage and get stuck uh, on my farm. <laughs> that is not an, a way out over there. I'm all blocked off over there. I'm all blocked off over here. We're just gonna have to go back and get our ax or something. like either a pickaxe or an axe to get out of the farm on the south side it's blocked off okay and away we go let's try that again and then um later on when we get coffee and coffee beans the character does move quicker i can't wait to have coffee but for now she's just slow
The worms are still there. They were there yesterday, too, on the game. But, um... Yeah, I don't feel like they're too... You know, they they don't give up too much good stuff. I mean, you'll, you're lucky if you get an artifact, but... And here... Oh, there it is. There's a melon. I keep... I've been calling it a melon. It's a spice berry. That is a spice berry. I was saying melon. It looks like a melon. It looks like a melon to me. So you will hear me call spice berries melons because they look like wild melons to me. It's a spice berry. still foraging. It's so peaceful. Little birds are chirping. There's no music. It is kind of silent. There's no music playing right now. It's quiet. But, like I said, the birds are chirping, so... I guess we'll have to accept that. I'm gonna go put the stuff away. I think we're gonna call it an episode. I may go wander around just a little bit more. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna go check our chicken. I don't remember if we collected the egg for the day. Maybe? No. No, we did. We did. It was the silver egg. So, I'll just kind of walk around up here. Here's some more grapes. That's good. And if we don't find a sweet pea today, don't worry about it. There are more days in the summer that we will be able to find and forage a sweet pea. They are more rare. Um, and I know if you build up a bunch of them that you're more likely to have the fairies come and visit you on your farm. Alright, hopefully we'll find one in town. If we can't find a sweet pea in town, I'm just going to head to bed because I don't want to be up till 2 in the morning. Oh, here's a sweet pea. Alright, and it looks like we have all three with us, so we will stop by the community center and quickly complete that bundle. That was awesome. That was epic. Epic! All right, here it is. I don't know what we're gonna get. I think it's seeds. I think you get 30 summer seeds. Yep, I was right. Okay, more tea sapling makings. Hurrah! More money, more golds! We unlocked more of the community center. We unlocked the safe. That one's um, where you just pay a bunch of money to open the bus again quite a bit of money. All right, I'm going to head home. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you like my gameplay, please hit like and subscribe. Hope to see you all soon. You guys are all awesome, amazing, and wonderful. Have a great day. Winter Phoenix out.